In this lesson, we're going to look at adding fractions uh, that have different denominators. And in fact, we're going to have a few different videos on this subject. Um, this is a pretty important one and one that is nice to see lots of examples with. Um, so I, I have a procedure up here, a three-step process for what we do to add fractions. But I think before we get into that at all, I think it's useful to um, just try to do a simple problem just using our intuition and maybe looking at a real world situation. So I have one quarter plus three eighths. So let's uh, let's suppose this one quarter represents the fraction of a pizza, let's say a pepperoni pizza, that's been eaten. And so that four represents how many equal pieces the pizza is split into, and the one of course represents how much of it's been eaten. So I'll just represent that by shading in one of those four pieces. The three-eighths, uh, suppose there's a different pizza, maybe a vegetarian pizza, and that eight there indicates that maybe it was cut into eight slices. So we're going to have twice as many slices in this vegetarian pizza as the pepperoni pizza. And we've eaten three of them, so let's maybe fill in this one, this one, and this one. So we understand that when we're adding one quarter plus three eighths, we've, we've got this nice visual representation for what's going on. Now if we want to answer the question of what fraction of a pizza was eaten total, well it makes sense that we would add the two fractions together, right? And that would give us the fraction of a pizza total that was eaten. But it's kind of hard to visualize putting uh, this slice together with these three because they're not the same size. And so uh, what might be useful is to go ahead and take this pizza that's cut into four equal slices, take a pizza cutter, and make a few more cuts. So if I slice there and slice there, now all of a sudden I have a pizza that's split into eight equal slices, just like uh, the vegetarian one. Um, and now it's a lot easier to envision putting the pieces uh, that I ate here together with the pieces I ate there. And so understand now that this pizza on the left you could also express as two eighths. And we've already talked about equivalent fractions and hopefully you recognize that one quarter and two eighths are in fact equivalent fractions. Of course the other pizza stays as three eighths. Um, and then we already know how to add fractions when the denominators are the same. We just add the tops 2 plus 3 is 5, and put it over 8. Now let's draw a little picture to represent what this all means. Well, now that both pizzas are split up into 8 equal pieces, when I add these fractions together, I'll hopefully still have 8 equal pieces. And we can just color in exactly what we had up here. So I had these left two colored in for my one quarter or two eighths pizza. And then I've got these three filled in from the three eighths. And so what do I have total? I have a total of five eighths of a pizza eaten. And so uh, I think this is a nice place to start because it describes what we should do. If we have different denominators, or in other words, different uh, sizes of pieces, we should make it so that we're dealing with the same thing in both numbers, so that we have the same number of equal parts. And that's what we did here, and we did it by, in fact, doubling the number of pieces. So really, mathematically, what happened here is I went down to 4, and I said, okay, I'm going to double that. But we also understand any time we multiply or divide the top or uh, bottom of the fraction by something, we've got to do the same thing to the other part. So we multiplied both by 2, and that's mathematically how we got to this 2 eighths. Okay. So to go through this procedure here, we find the least common denominator. So here our least common denominator was 8. It was the smallest number that both denominators went into evenly. So we did that. Uh, and then we made each fraction into an equivalent fraction that has the LCD as its denominator. Again, there was nothing to do with 3 eighths. It was fine, but we changed 1 quarter into an equivalent fraction that had the LCD as the denominator. So we did that. 
and then of course we added them together to get 5 eighths. And then we didn't have to do this in this particular problem, but of course we're going to simplify um, if necessary. All right, so um, now let's move on to this problem. Here we have three fractions we're adding together. So let's kind of go through our procedure here. We understand that first we want to find the least common denominator. Now these numbers aren't too big, so um, I think the method of taking the largest number and looking at multiples of it until both the other numbers divide into that multiple I think is a good strategy. So 4 goes into 8, but 6 does not evenly. Okay, so we move on to 16. 4 goes into 16, but 6 does not. Um, let's try 3 times 8, which is 24. Well, 4 goes into 24, and so does 6. So I know that 24 is my least common denominator. So you can see 24 doesn't appear in the problem, and so I'm going to have to do something to each of these fractions in order to um, get the least common denominator. So I'm just going to rewrite here so I have a little more space to work with. Okay. And so we understand we want a 24 in the denominator of each of these. And so the only question is, how do we make each of the bottoms of these fractions turn into 24? Well, what do we do to 4 to make it into 24? Well, we multiply it by 6. What do we do to 8 to make 24? Well, we multiply it by 3, so we'll multiply both the top and bottom by 3. And then what do we do to 6? Multiply it by 4, so we multiply the top by 4 as well. And so we know 3 times 6 is 18. 5 times 3 is 15, and 1 times 4 is 4. So then we know we just add all the tops together at this point. So what we really have, I'll do this on the side, negative 18 plus 15 plus 4. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and negative uh, 18 plus 15, remember we subtract because the signs are different. So that's a difference of 3, but the negatives with the bigger values, that's negative 3 plus 4, and then negative 3 plus 4 should give us 1. So our answer here is 1 24th. No reducing that needs to be done, so that is our answer.